Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I know this stamp set, Thoughtful Blooms, has retired, but I've only just got the punch for it, which goes with the basket of blooms, I think, one of the new stamp sets. And I wanted to make at least one card with the Thoughtful Blooms. And I've also used um, positive thoughts for the sentiment and the butterfly. To make this card, I've used a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, two uh, pieces of white card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for inside and one for the top. I've also cut out the second largest nesting die um, yeah I've cut that out and I've also got some scraps of rich raspberry and white for the butterfly and the flowers so I need that to stamp on I need to burnish this card I'll put to one side I never showed you the stamp sets. Anyway, thoughtful bloom, and I'm going to be using that um, stamp. The leaves, the cluster of leaves, and the tiny, I can't see it for a little tiny flower here. That, that's all I'm using out of that. And then positive thoughts for the butterfly and the sentiment hugs, prayers and love which I've got all out ready so I need to stamp on that and I need that for the butterfly I need one of them right first we're all going to do the lines using that stamp set and rich raspberry If you haven't guessed, I'm changing the colours to Blushing Bride and Rich Raspberry. Right. This one, I need it to go from about there. So I've lined it on my grid. And... One. we're doing three and as I'm lining it on my grid I'm doing it out of one line it up with one square miss a square and line it up with the next one so I'll do the same like that and when that sits on top, we've got the three coming out the side. Right, stick that in my cleaning cloth because it's going to stain. So that's all we need that to stamp on. So we'll put this on. A, we need... I'll put it away for now. I do need it for the sentiment. But I want to do the greenery first so what it is I have got the cluster of all right that's it <coughs> and a foot one there Turn it round and we'll have one there. Like that. Sorry about that. 
and which I never got out a little three leaf one I put one there and one there like that You'll see why, because when I stick a flower there, I'll have a leaf on it. Right, Blush and Bride and the tiny flowers, flower. And all we're doing is putting a tiny flower where there is a empty... Um, branch. Like that. And that looks quite nice. Put that down like that. Now. I don't think I've left enough room for the sentiment. To go there. It's going to go right on top of the flowers. Let's see. Alright. Right. And that go on top of that, like that. And then with our little flower punch, we need to punch out three. And then what I did with the end of my pencil, I put a flower in my palm of my hand, put the pencil in the middle, and push down. Just to curl it up. And they will sit in the middle like that. And that's all it is for our card. So, let's... Oh no, we've got a butterfly to do. So, with our butterfly that I never got out. There it is. Take that off. Butterfly on. <coughs> now I need blush and bride and ink up the butterfly. And what I did was I just did the edge of the butterfly in rich raspberry. And you can just ink up the edge. Of the butterfly. And there we have our. Oh, 
Oh dear, sorry about that. I am a bit chested today. Now we're going to cut out the butterfly. Times out of ten when I'm cutting out a butterfly, I usually cut off these. But I can cut them out on this one for some reason. And that is our butterfly. There is them. And we will. Oh. We will bring our card piece in. And glue this down. And with dimensionals on the back of this, we will I think it was six if I remember no, it must have been more than six. Eight. backs off and stick that like that there and with our glue I put a spot of glue on the end of each flower or underneath each flower and place them in the middle of the green bits and our butterfly I just bring up his wings a bit and glue his body and place him there. Then I add pearls to the middle of each flower. the wrong ones. These ones.
That's it. And we'll pop this inside so you can write your message. I know you could write on the back of the card, I mean in the card base, but I like to put it in to equal the weight up. I must say I do like the blue colour best. But we have to change the colour. So that's the card today. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and if you press the bell icon, you can you'll be notified of any time I upload videos, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.